Hi, my name is Philip. I'm going to show today how to, to soundproof a house for aircraft noise. So as you can hear now, there's a wind passing. It's not very noisy today because it's, uh, it's landing, but once they take off, it's much, much louder than that. So there is two things to do. One is to insulate inside the roof, and the other one is to insulate the windows. So we double the window so to reduce uh, the sound. So we're going first to show you how to insulate the roof. All right, we are inside the roof now, and uh, what you have to do basically is to uh, stop the sound from the plane going through the roof and through the ceiling. So for that, first normally we install between the, 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 the ceiling joist, we install some high density bats. Now, there was already this uh, fluffy thermal insulation. Um, it's not ideal for soundproofing, of course, it's a bit too light. Normally we put some bats more dense than that, but because this is already here and it's quite messy to remove and replace and the difference will not be that big anyway. So we decide to leave the material here, the thermal insulation, and we're going to cover it with um, loaded vinyl, like you can see here. It's um, or mass vinyl, there is different name for that. It's a heavy membrane which is heavy and limp and it doesn't, doesn't vibrate much, therefore if it doesn't vibrate um, it reduces a lot uh, the sound transmission going through. Uh, the heavier the better for aircraft noise or traffic noise. Um, this one weighs 8 kilo per square meter. Uh, now it's quite, it's very heavy actually and uh, the heavier the better. And to install that first um, installing some um, hoop irons, there are those traps here, and we just, uh, every couple of feet or 500 mil, something like that, we put, um, we put one, and uh, so it helps support the, the loaded vinyl, because otherwise it's going to put too much pressure on the, on the bath, or the thermal insulation, and too much, too much pressure on the ceiling itself. So this helps support uh, the weight of the, the, the whole uh, material. So now we are laying over the hoop iron, the loaded vinyl, and one thing very important is to, to be, for this to be efficient, is to overlap all joints because things must be, at the end, like one blanket and a seal as best as possible. So we're going to overlap the joints, like here about 50 mil, two inches minimum or more, but not less than that. And we're going to tape all the joints with uh, reinforced, uh, reinforced uh, aluminum tape to make sure that the joints uh, fit really well, really well together, and to, to minimize any any leaks. Now another thing I want to show as well is all the electrical wires, telephone cable, data cable should preferably be laid over the the vinyl. So we. So we, we can see them, we have access to them as much as possible. It's not always possible, but uh, as much as possible, we try to leave that above the, the, um, the vinyl. Right, we finished the job now. Um, there is a couple of things I want to, to add. When we reach a wall, like here, we have to go up by around 100 mil, 4 inches, you know, like this. Um, and this material that I use is eight kilo per square meter and got a, provide a reduction by around 30, 32 dB. 10 dB, it's about halving the sound. Now, 30 dB is three times halving the sound, so we can estimate roughly 85% reduction in, the, in, our, in sound transmission. Uh, at the end of the, the, the roof, you know, if you, I don't know if you can see there, um, we go right to the end and we have to go down also by 100 mil, 200 mil, something like that. So four, between four and eight inches, you know, have to go, go down. So now we have, we have uh, one blanket, which is sealed and there is no gaps or very, very minimum gaps. So we have a really, really good soundproofing here. And here we have a, a light well, so a duct that brings light inside the house. Um, also, it brings the sound inside the house, so we had to lag around this 
um, put the similar material, loaded vinyl as well. And inside the duct itself, I did uh, put some uh, sound absorbers, uh, white. So it, it's the sound coming from the top will be absorbed inside the column and, uh, and been reduced as well. So one more thing I want to say before I finish. Um, there is some, some big risk uh, involved doing this job. Uh, one of those risks is uh, falling through the, the ceiling if you don't put your foot to the right place. And another one is, uh, is electrocution. That, that can happen too. So I suggest that you ask an electrician first to check the whole system, electric uh, installation before you, you start lifting the wires, uh, etc. Um, then the last thing is uh, the manhole. Don't forget to do to treat the manhole as well. So we had to build a, a box around this plaster board, that this is the original one. We build the boat about the thickness of the joist here. And we put some bats inside, so some sound absorbers, and uh, we put the same loaded vinyl on top, which go over. So when it's done, it just um, just overlapping the, the whole thing. So that's it for now. Bye, and see you see you next time. <laughs>